James and Gary, I'm sure Sam might remember this. Uh, do you remember watching Channel 9 on a Sunday morning and you see World Championship Wrestling? Yeah, right. Teddy Absolutely. Whitten was the man there, of course, who was one of the great men behind the footy show with the, the great Jack Little. Loved well, it. I used to love him. There was the Von Snyder brothers. There was Brute <laughs> Bernard. There was Skull Murphy. There was every... They had the, the midget wrestlers, Little Tojo and Cowboy Gibson. There was Spirus <laughs> Ree and the Golden <laughs> Creek. There was everybody. But there was no one bigger than, ladies and gentlemen, we saw that Sam Newman had a foreign object in his trunks on the footy show. Well, the man who had to fight people with foreign objects being pulled out of their trunks every week was this man over here, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Mario Milano. <laughs> Lovely to see you, Mario. And this very spot where you're sitting is where the ring was for World Championship Wrestling with Jack Little. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful years and very good Things uh, I, I don't know what to say, but I have beautiful time. It was, a, it was a wonderful time, and who can forget Mario's abdominal stretch that he used to put on people, the yeah. brain buster, the step over toll hold, the Irish whip into the turn buckle. Ladies and gentlemen, have a look at this. Mario Milano in action. At the tag, in comes Milano. A punch by Mario. There's a kick to the mid section. And Milano shaking up the spoiler. Killer Carl Cox enters the ring. A kick, another kick to the back. Oh, man. What a grueling tag team match this is. Well, so great days indeed. Jack Little, of course, was the ringmaster. Even uh, Murray Wiedemann, the then Collingwood captain, was a wrestler for a while there. We had some of the great names, both from Haystack, Calhoun, all the way back to Gorgeous George. They all fought here in Studio One. Let's relive some of the glory days of World Championship Wrestling. Here's the man that absolutely had the strength of ten men in that ring and went berserk, Dick the Bulldog Brower. You bum, you! You sucker me in that ring! When I wasn't watching you, cop, and you picked me up, and you hurt my neck, cop, you hurt my neck, I'm going to beat you, I'm going to crush you, you can't hurt me, cop, you can't hurt me, cop. We're going to go to the world. Comes up with a head scissors on Dominic, and Dominic goes over and sits George up on the top end of the rope. Gives him a whack in the side of the face, and the fans applaud.